Hi, you guys. It is Thursday, not Thursday. <laughs> it is Wednesday, November 23rd, 2016. My name is Doris, and this is the Knit and Pearl podcast, episode 113. Give thanks and eat turkey. <laughs> um, Ted wanted to be here to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, but he is at this moment babysitting a few of the bonus grandkids. So I am going to say to you from me and Ted and Pete, Pete, come here. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, that your year has been blessed. Come on, come on. Say happy Thanksgiving, Pete. Yeah, do, 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 do. Okay, all right. Okay, get down. Thank you, thank you. So, I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving day with your friends and family. So, now we'll go to the podcast. Um, you can find the show notes for this podcast on knitandpearl.net. The pearl is P-E-A-R-L. In social media, I am One Fine Cow on Ravelry and Twitter. I am One Fine Design, the number one, on Facebook and Etsy. And I'm Doris M. Smith, all lowercase and smooshed together on Instagram. There are links to the show notes to these uh, social media things. You can click on them. You can follow me. That would be wonderful. This podcast has a Ravelry group, which is the Knit and Pearl podcast group. Link also in the show notes and down below. We have birthday shout outs. I do a Ravelry group birthday shout out. And this time it will be from November 12th through November 30th. And we have one, two, three, four birthdays. First birthday is Al Stitch. Her birthday was on the 14th. We have Deb's Destiny, who is Deb, of um, who is one part of the Never Cast Off podcast. Her birthday was on the 15th. We have Holly at Home, who is Holly. Her birthday was also on the 15th. And we have Nitty Turtle 3, who is Trish. Her birthday is on um, Sunday, the 27th of November. So, ladies, happy birthday. I hope that you had a wonderful and will have a wonderful birthday. And that if it's <laughs> Nitty Turtle, Trish, I hope that your birthday doesn't get lost in Thanksgiving. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. No. <laughs> I hope you did have and will have a wonderful birthday. I hope also that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. So that leads us into the knit along, crochet along, um, that we have have going until November 30th. And it is a finished objects knit along. Uh, you, the rules are you must be a member of the group to qualify for prizes, finished objects, as many entries as, obje as objects completed with at least 100 yards of yarn. Um, if it has a story, please share what the story is. There will be a regular prize draw for the um, items entered by random number generator, and there will also be a gift for the oldest whip completed. Share in your progress, in your project page, when it was started, when it was completed. So get out those languishing whips. You have a few more days to complete things that have been around for a while. Um, there will be a prize for that. The prize for the oldest whip is a gift card for Etsy. And the regular prize draw uh, is a $6 giftable pattern on Ravelry. $6 or less giftable pattern on Ravelry. So you have until next Wednesday, a week, to finish some ob objects and get them posted in the Ravelry thread. Thank you guys so much for your participation. Which brings us to Story of the Week and Stash Enhancement. I do have a Stash Enhancement. I got a lovely bag from um, Sheila from 
thank God for bags and um, the Never Cast Off podcast. But I can't show you because it is a gift for one of my Christmas swaps. So it's beautiful. Let me just tell you, Some, it's a very, very beautiful Christmas bag. So what I can't show you. <laughs> So, um, story this week, last Thursday, Ted had a carpal tunnel surgery on his left hand. He is doing well. Uh, work has been busy and we have been getting ready, getting ready for a wonderful family time tomorrow. I'm so excited. I can't wait for stuffing. <laughs> Cornbread stuffing. I cannot wait. I told I was telling Ted on the way home from work today. I said, "Oh my gosh, my mouth is so ready for st for some cornbread stuffing. I hope it's good. If it's not, I'm just gonna have to make my own because I want it so bad." <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I I'm looking forward to spending time with my friends and, and my family and. I hope that you guys also get to spend time with those that, that you love and that you take time to think about the things that you are thankful for this from this past year. Yep. Happy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> um, I did not have any luck finding anything that jumped out to me as a health pearl this week. So I didn't want to spend a lot of extra time trying to find a health pearl. The only thing I'm going to say health pearl wise is don't stress tomorrow. Do your best to do the best you can as far as your eating and being healthy, but don't stress about it and don't stress those around you about it. Just enjoy yourself. Do the best you can. Tomorrow's another day. You know, it's another day after that. You can be healthier then. <laughs> That's my little health pearl. Please don't um, take it as you take it as what it means to you. That's all. So I don't have any finished objects. So that leads us right into the knitting part, the whips. So I'll just start with what's right here. My... Mermaid Towel Lapgan Blanket. It is a pattern that I purchased on Etsy by Marta Selter. Paid for pattern. There it is. It's so cute. Here's mine. <laughs> this cute little stitch marker that I made and boy it's getting blown out let me bring it over here where you can see it better is an emoji stitch marker I have uh, four I think four sets of three of these left in the shop so what a nice little Christmas gift or just a Christmas gift for you. Let me see if I can show you this one. Anyway, I have four more, four more sets of three in my shop. Mwah. Emoji stitch markers. So that, anyway, that is where I was last week. I think I did two full pattern repeats starting on the third one and I discovered I'm let me see where I am sorry for one two three four five six seven eight nine two more now I thought I told you last week I had two more pattern repeats I have two more pattern repeats now before I start the fin so there it is it's so cute. It's going to be so fun for the little girl who gets it. To pretend like she's a fish and keep her legs warm too. 
Um, I'm not a fish, a mermaid. To pretend she's a mermaid. So this set, this is the, the yarn. This is my second ball of the big twist, which is a Joanne, uh, Joanne's yarn, big twist. It's 100% acrylic. And where's the color? The color, fun brights. This is the, the tw this is the big twist rainbow classics. And the color is, Lord, I'm getting it all twisted up. Fun brights. There, I'll give you a second to freeze it and get the numbers if you want it. Okay. Didn't get much done on my potato chip scarf. And I didn't mark it. So... You'll just have to trust me. I forgot to put a stitch marker or a uh, progress keeper in this one. Mm, sorry. Hard to get it out. The Potato Chip Scarf is a free pattern on Ravelry by Crafty Cash. Here it is. I think I was probably right here. Right, and I was just, it was just beginning to twist. So I did do a little bit, but I mean, you know, I got a lot of things. <laughs> and I have added more. Okay. It's so cute and fun. I can't, it's going to be so cute and fun. But I'm trying to focus on things that are almost off the needle. So that's what I've been doing. Free pattern on Ravelry by, I told you that. The yarn is... Beautiful, albeit splitty. Super saver, red heart super saver, and the color way is artist prints, and I just love this color. This yarn is a little splitty, and, it's, and as I knit it, it is like untwisting a little bit, but we're making it do. It's gonna be cute. That's the second project in my Joanne Springs Knit Spin Farm bag. There is a link in the show notes to her shop. She makes lovely drawstring bags. Hope nobody got sick with that. There you go. That is number two. Number three, which you saw last week, is... The Hitchhiker Beyond. If you notice, I'm wearing my worsted weight hitchhiker that I knit a couple springs ago. It's like, it was like a um, kind of yucky weather, yucky day. So it's like, let me just get out these bright colors so I can feel happy and good. And it works. I love this squishy. So anyway, <laughs> my Hitchhiker Beyond, which is a paid for pattern on Ravelry by Martina Bem. The yarn I'm using is this beautiful stuff that I got in a surprise stash. It is Heritage. I don't, I never remember the full name and I didn't write it down. Where is it? Here it is. It's Heritage, it's Cascade Yarns, Heritage, hand-painted sock yarn. It's beautiful, soft, and squishy. And I got a lot on this today, done this week. Because I'm at the end. Here's where I was last time. Let me get this stuff out of the way so you can see. And I am coming on to the end of the scarf. So I was really trying to work on that. I have 40... Forty-eight teeth of 60... I 
again. I'm using this stitch, this, um, what do you call it? Progress marker is from, oh, from Knitting I Love, Barb. It's a stitch marker that it can, it's a stitch marker and progress keeper. You can move this flower up. And you have a loop and you can use it as a stitch marker or like I'm using it as a progress keeper the needles I'm using are us threes 3.25 and they they are my Addy turbos I really like the Addy turbos really nice nice sharp point Nice. Anyway, that is the hitchhiker. So if you've been following me a while, I've got two other projects. I've got uh, another um, mitered square wrap by Maya Linusen, who is Schumaling on Ravelry. And I have a, just a... I have a sock that I haven't decided what I'm going to do with. And I have a little sock yarn mitered square thing. So what did I do? Sorry, I cast it on something different. <laughs> I have these, this yarn was staring me in the face and I want it to be a Christmas gift for somebody. So I cast it on. A Rose City Rollers, which is a free pattern on Ravelry by Maya, Mara Catherine Briner. The yarn is Patton's Croy sock in the blue stripe rag colorway which we all know and love and i am using the carbons us 2 2.75 knitter's pride carbons and it's in a joanne springs sock bag also knit spin farm Link in the show notes. I am using 72 stitches. I'm following the pattern. Not making any modifications. I'm just following the pattern. And I didn't break the yarn. I just knit it. Because it won't matter. There's a little bit of interruption in the stripe right here, as you can tell. But I don't think it's a big deal. It's going to be a lovely, fun sock. So I don't know that I'll get it done, get the pair done by Christmas. I'm going to try to. If not, I'll give her one and say the other one's almost finished or whatever. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> She's in the family. It'll be okay. But I just had a craving to pick up this yarn and once I get done with the gusset decreases it should fly because what's the next stripe Ooh, I wonder what that I want the next stripe and let's me knit to the next stripe but I want to also finish my um, hitchhiker beyond and oh my goodness Shuma, Maya Schumeling has enabled me because I want to try this new pattern, the um, what is it? The um, uh, what is it? Clapo, the instead of the the clapitus, it's the clap clabactus or something. The scarf that is the 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 shawl scarf that is a goes between the 
Oh, Lord, I shouldn't even say anything. And I don't want to look it up. The cle Clapete. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I put, got the... Uh, I'm just going to show you. I'm sorry. I'm just going to show you if I can get to the right place. Oh, Lord. I don't even know how to operate my iPad now because I'm in a hurry. Okay. There's me. Here's my pattern. The clapotus, the clapotus, which is a cross between the clap, I don't even know. I don't even know how to say it. The clap, Put clapitus and the back to scarf. It's a hybrid. I really want to make it. And so. I want to get the. I have the yarn already picked out. <laughs> this beautiful stuff I got from. Fiber Nymph. The um, Amy White. Wine house, wine house, white house colorway. I think it would be gorgeous in a clapitus. Yes, I've been like, let me let me finish something and I'll cast that on. But then, like, oh, I got this to do and this to do. You all know. Well, us knitters know. So that's all of the works in progress. Let me get back on track. Be professional. <laughs> Whatever. Um, spinning. This is the first two ounces of the bat I was working am working on from Yarn Geek Fibers. The it's a um, Polworth, and the color is snorkel. Is a funny word. I'm bringing it over here so that the light doesn't blow it out so much. Nope, come, come over here, this way. <laughs> over this way. So it's gorgeous, I love it. It's gonna be so pretty. Pink is not my only favorite color, by the way. As you can tell, so gorgeous. I got the, uh, the second two ounces started and hopefully that's also going to be a swap gift, so it's got to be done. <laughs> so anyway. Okay, so I have, I've I had trouble finding, stumble upon, and so, and Pinterest, anything new. So what I did was I went back and picked up a couple things that I um, pinned and showed shared with you a couple years ago, and it is... Christmas gift packaging. So, let me just get to that, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Won't be too hard to get to. I, they're timeless, wherever they are. The first one is, oh, come on. The first one is, what is wrong with this? I'm sorry. Click off that. packaging for Christmas things. And this one, they used a Pringles can, decorated it up and used it for cookies to, to, if you're baking cookies or candy, what an awesome idea. Awesome. The second one is also like a packaging thing. If I can get to my area. Um, if you click on the link, it's going to take you to a page that I um, put up to put these two things in. Is that what you call it? Uh, but if you click on the one, the first, the, this link, it will take you to some crazy place. So if you go down, you can click on this link. Right, I can't point. Right there. 
and you can it will show you how to make these they're like toilet paper rolls or you could probably cut up some cut up some um, paper towel rolls and it shows you how to fold them and make these little gift pack wrapping packages that so that for you know stocking stuffers or whatever as we're all getting ready to start really getting knuckling down with the Christmas stuff so there you go I couldn't find a stumble that I was really thrilled with so we're going to skip the stumble this time and as always in the bottom of it down below here and in the show notes there's a link to my Etsy store go and have a look give me some love and if you find something that you want to give as a gift to someone else or to yourself I will happily happily part with it sell it to you and send it on its way before Christmas comes I'll see you guys later thank you so much for stopping by and spending this time with me I hope that you have a wonderful wonderful Thanksgiving bye